Hi Aquarius, welcome to your end of June 2019 general tarot update. It's Rena here. <laughs> I just, I'm kind of like, um, I was uh, like shuffling behind the camera here and I was feeling this one card and I said I'm going to pick that one as the centerpiece. So the heart of the matter is the Page of Pentacles. This can be a student. This can be an earth sign child. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you are um, concerned about or involved with. It can also be the start of a new venture like a new business or new job uh, in the early stages of it. This can also be a small lump sum, sum of money that you receive. And um, in the past position, we have the Three of Pentacles, so another Pentacles card, another money card. Um, actually, you know, it's funny because um, I was, I don't know if I was watching another tarot reader or what, or just reading about this, but they were saying that the Three of Pentacles can be making money in something that you love to do. And maybe that has something to do with the number three being a number of joy. We are in a three universal year and in, you know, in numerology and the number three is associated with creativity and also joy. Okay. So with pentacles, we have the practical meeting up with this idea of joy and abundance. Yeah, abundance. I don't know. Did I say abundance? Um, also abundance and meeting up with, with that. So it's a good money card, but it's coming from a place of um, where you're feeling like it's something that you're enjoy, you know, you're um, having a certain enjoyment about it. So I would tend to to think that it may be something that you're doing on your end, um, like it's your own baby, your own business. And um, the higher message is the Five of Wands, and this is a card that I associate with a dog eat dog environment. It doesn't have to be. It can be like a almost like a, a very playful, uh, challenging in, or uh, competitive environment where people are just, they're enjoying that competition, okay? Now, I could see that, for instance, in a sporting sense, but in the workplace, I feel that that would be very difficult. I, I mean, a very rare situation where people could be competitive and, and playful about their competition. Unfortunately, because of money being connected to it, uh, people tend to get weird and and very um, into survival mode, and they they can't separate their ambition from their survival, their their need for survival, and and I'm not saying everybody's like that, but un unfortunately, I think that it's fairly common. To have that mentality that's why you know if people didn't have that mentality you wouldn't see so many people just staying in the same job year after year because they do it out of a sense of fear um, that they that they won't find anything else and that sense that survival mechanism kicking in big time and so my point is that this is the spiritual message for you. So if you have decided to do something on your own, Aquarius, it could be because you were put off by a workplace situation that felt very combative. And I think that it's kind of reflecting back on you in a synchronistic way to say, yeah, you know, that is exactly what was happening. And you were caught in the middle of this and aren't you glad that you're not in that situation anymore?
what crosses you is the Queen of Wands. This is a card that, um, <laughs> it, it's funny because um, it, even in the upright position, I mean, this is like a, this could be like a female boss that is very, um, in the upright position, she can be kind of a drama queen, but it's supposed to be a very positive figure overall. But when she is turned around like this, this is going to be kind of like a narcissistic type of a woman who is attention seeking. And I mean, this could be somebody like a boss, but a negative, very negative influence. So if you have begun to prepare for a business and you are not, you haven't quit your job, you may be still dealing with a, a toxic boss. And this person, um, like if you believe that you're going to get like some kind of um, good, you're going to end on a good note or something if you decide to quit because you're going to do your own thing, you may have to just accept the fact that this person isn't going to make nice, you know, that she may be very vindictive. She may um, take it like personal affront about this and think that you're somehow um, dissing her. And there might be control issues with this person. Now, this person um, may even be a partner who doesn't want you to do this, to, to have your own business, because perhaps uh, she feels that it's not going to work out or there's something along those lines, and she has that kind of control issue. Um, actually, you know, it's funny that they connect this card with Sagittarius because they always, you know, well, I should say the weight deck and my other deck that I use, Morgan Greer, show her holding a sunflower. And that seems like Leo. We know it's a fire energy, but just which fire sign? <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. But that sense of what fire energy is all about. And when it is imbalanced, it can be uh, like the tyrant. And uh, so you may be dealing with somebody who is not on board with you, is not cooperative with you uh, for whatever reason. The advice or what's coming in, I think this is going to be both, is that feeling of wanting of wider pastures. Well, you know, uh, this is the card of expansion, three of wands, you know, look at all this. We have three cards so far with fire energy. And fire energy is really about wanting that sense of expansion and self-expression, autonomy through self-expression, and freedom. You know, that's the big word is freedom. And there we have the number three again. This is a card of the entrepreneur, the three of wands. Creativity and that sense of abundance with the number three. So taking your creativity and turning it into something that can be quite lucrative is how I see it. And sometimes you have to move. This can be long distance travel um, in order to attract that next level expansion. And sometimes you need to open your mind. Maybe you're a little bit um, narrow about certain things. Aquarius is a fixed sign. Now you're uh, you're futuristic, you're very ahead of your time, but you're still a fixed sign. So sometimes you fixate on certain concepts and it may be hard to kind of like uh, expand your 
horizons mentally so that you can allow for more possibilities. And, um, and this can, you know, I feel like this, for some reason, I just thought of this. I, I feel like maybe even socially, this may be a need for you. Maybe you're uh, hanging around people that are not where you're at. Aquarius rules the 11th house of friendships and groups. And Aquarius tends to like um, that aspect of their life, like all their friendships, and like to have relationships on that level. But it doesn't mean that your friendships are always going to keep up with your spiritual awakening and, and new developments. And sometimes we have to move on because we're not we're not vibing with the people around us and it doesn't have to be that anybody is wrong either so uh yeah i see with the 3 of wands that need for more um more uh, I, i'm trying to look for that that term uh wider pa i want to say wider pastures but that sounds like you're a cow grazing in the field um i i it's like yeah, I guess that's okay. Wide open spaces, let's put it that way. And the outcome is the Chariot card, which is a card of victory. So any time that you can honor your need for expansion, creativity, and joy, um, Aquarius, I feel that you're going to be rewarded. And, um, I mean, that's true for all of us, actually, but... In this particular spread, it really seems like it, it's definitely the case for you. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Otherwise, have a great rest of June. Bye.